What is up, everybody? Oh, right here. And we are back with yet another zombie survivors. They just put out like an absolutely huge update today. Uh, this is not live. Let me just clarify. This is not live yet on the actual game. This is still kind of just the public beta. But look at all the stuff they put out. Uh, they did minor level ups, major level ups. All weapons and abilities now have three levels instead of five. There's always four selections. They increased XP gain. Uh, they added new stats. They added elemental damage. They did armor rework. We have a new playable survivor, a melee ranged hybrid focused on fire type elemental damage. There are 17 new items, 28 item reworks. 18 new achievements and then just a whole bunch of other uh just like ui and quality of life uh uh improvements it's like this is this is this huge update absolutely huge it's gonna be it's gonna be really big here's the new character pyro once a firefighter he found himself in somewhat unhealthy relationship with burning flames his lack of fear is an asset when it comes to fighting the horde using various elemental damage sources Though unpredictable and impulsive, his true nature is a that of a kind soul who will walk through Inferno to help his comrades survive the hell on Earth. Unfortunately, we have to unlock him. This literally just came out a minute ago, so I haven't played any of this yet. We're going to walk in first impressions of everything. Um, it looks like they kind of changed how the unlocks work, maybe. I don't remember there being three abilities in the top row. So no, there aren't any new abilities. I kind of originally thought there were, but there's not. So no new abilities for that yet. We will, I'm going to run a full on like elemental build here though. Uh, I guess we're gonna run, I'm trying to think like who, who does the elemental damage. I wish it would say, I wish it would say who does elemental damage. I'm assuming like hunt, like the frost I'm going to assume frost, electric, and I don't know. I don't know who else. Maybe like, maybe the tank with the rocket launcher. Maybe that's like fire. I'm not quite sure who, who exactly has elemental damage. Like their abilities too. I assume their abilities count as elemental damage. But I'm really excited to try this out. We're unfortunately, like I said, we're not going to be able to try Pyro yet. However, I will work on unlocking him and I will put out a video as soon as I can, as soon as we deal 2 million or more elemental damage. So let's jump in. Let's check out like all the new item reworks. We'll check out the. Um... So wait, hold on. Let me let me make sure we're doing like the right modes here. Uh, we'll, we'll test out the whole new leveling up system and everything else. Um, is there only, okay. I was going to say, oh, they changed how this menu works. Very nice. Much, much better this way. It's, it's so, it's not as confusing. Okay. So we, we still have the same modes. One hit boss rush endless. Uh, let's go to endless. See, cool. So, so now we have our, this is much better. This looks really good. So now like down here, you can see we have like, uh, a new a new system that shows exactly what we're picking so engineer isolated city endless start game i'm excited to see i'm really excited to see like this new hero i want to unlock him for you guys as quickly as i can hopefully we can do i think it was two million right i have i we ooh wow this is way different yeah okay so this is what they're talking about so i think like we're gonna get um I think these are the minor level ups. This looks so much better. Let's do the XP modifier. This looks so much better. This is, I'm telling you, this update is huge. Okay, then here's, is this like a, ma this might be a major level up where we get to upgrade our abilities. I'm not sure. I'm not quite sure how this all works yet, obviously. Yeah, I like this though. Cool. So we can just straight up increase weapon damage. Let's do our cooldown reduction. Hey, let me, uh, hold on. Let me show damage numbers. Yeah. Okay. See, so now you can see. I'm assuming they're going to be by different type. Um, 
Armor, 1%. Ability damage, health regeneration. Let's do health regeneration. I like the new music. The, the music is a little loud, though, compared to the actual sound, right? It feels like it. Let's turn the music down, like, a little. Music is really loud. Okay, that, that sounds better. Uh, we're gonna keep doing... I wish it would tell you, if they added elemental damage, I wish they would show you... What does elemental damage, though, you know? Like, put a little thing on the bottom that says this is electric, this is fire. Uh, I think they might need to do that. We'll stick with the taser, though. Because I'm assuming now that... I don't remember if... Was the damage... The damage wasn't always blue, right? It was always white. Uh, lifesteal... Ability cooldown reduction... I'm hoping that we can do 2 million pretty quick. Uh, let's do XP modifier again. All right, let's get to the Tesla. I'm just gonna try to get things that I just, I, I'm conf I'm pretty confident are gonna do ability uh, or elemental damage so we can unlock the pyro. Oh man, I was not expecting this update today. Okay, um, let's take the tank so the tank is doing orange or is that my crits I'm trying to I'm just trying to figure this all out <laughs> okay let's do life steal chance let's do max health max health 25 interesting all right, let's check out these items because all the items got a rework too. There are most of them did. Okay, so these ones all seem this. Oh, chemical damage modifier. There's chemical damage. What's, who does chemical? Oh, that's probably uh, the pyro probably does chemical damage uh, for each hundred points of total HP increases health regeneration by 0.01. So, yeah, they redid the apple. That's new. Uh, this is technically new. Um, we're going to take this one, though. We're going to still stick with the pigeon and get the ability reduction. Uh, the level ups definitely are different because now we're not leveling up our abilities as much, right? Because I don't even have. Let's uh, reroll these because I want to get. Um, well, here, let's uh, I can lock down. I kind of let's lock down Tesla. Oh, uh, well, I wonder if I re-roll if it's going to show the Tesla again. It is. Dang. I guess I didn't really think that one through. Um, Let's do... Because I want to get... Yeah, I want to get the energy shield. Ability area. That's a new one. And ability duration. These are all new, I think. Let's do ability area. Movement speed. I like this. I do like the new system. Um, the fact that we're not leveling up our abilities as much, though, is... We'll have to see about that. I guess that's going to be the biggest difference, right? Because now we're not just constantly leveling up our abilities. We're leveling up... We're mostly leveling up our stats. And then every once in a while, I think we get a major level up and then we get a level up this. Oh, so they added ability critical chance back too. I think they took that out. This will be fun because now we can kind of work on doing like whole new builds again let's do weapon damage okay let's do see like bombing strikes so here's what i want to know 
Is bombing strike going to be considered elemental damage? Is this going to be fire damage? Um, chemical damage? Things like that. That's that's what I really want to know. And this screen, I don't think, tells us what does what. So if they're going to add elemental damage, they need to show us what, what each thing does. That way I know when I'm upgrading chemical damage, I know what is being upgraded. I think that's I think that's imperative to add to this screen. Okay, so oh, they nerfed T pose. <laughs> okay, so pocket watch increases duration of picked up buffs by 0.5 for each stack of this item. That's cool. Uh, when your HP reaches zero, revives you with 50 health points. After which it breaks, becoming Jewel of Death. What does Jewel of Death mean? Wait, what does that mean? What does becoming Jewel of Death mean? <laughs> so there's another revive. Interesting. All right, let's um, I don't want to take these characters. I want to take someone who's going to who I think is going to do. Like, I want to get the Huntress because I'm. I know she's going to be able to have the Frost Arrow because I don't know who does. I don't know who's going to do elemental damage. I just, I know he does, I know he does electric damage, so like, <laughs> let's just try to get through as much of that as we can. Lifesteal value. I wonder if they, all a lot of these uh, uh, new uh, upgrades kind of make the medic maybe less needed. So armor, is armor just a percentage now? Let's see if we can highlight it. Percentage amount of damage reduction that happens every time your team takes damage. So I think it is just a straight up. Wonder if it is just a straight up percentage now. So we're always going to take 26% less damage. Uh, okay, so that didn't increase my armor. I was wondering if that would. This is really going to change how the game is played, if you haven't noticed already. Because we're not able... I don't know if it's a good thing or bad thing not being able to upgrade our abilities as much anymore. blaster uh let's see let's do i don't really i honestly don't really this isn't really like a planned build or anything i'm just trying to figure out what can do the most elemental damage and health 100 percent what does this mean does that mean it's gonna heal me to 100 percent probably um Let's see. Defeating a boss grants you ability damage, ability cooldown reduction. This is new, right? Defeating a boss grants you a three second boost of ability reduction and ability duration modifier. Yeah, that's definitely new. Go with minefield. See, because now I'm gonna hope that the minefield does, I don't know, fire damage, chemical damage, whatever they have it put as. Let's do movement speed.
I like the new music. The new music's good. Um, let's do energy shield again. Although I guess they did change it, because now your weapons do only require three level ups. I haven't been paying attention if that's the same for the abilities. Let's look next time we get a big level up like that. Uh, let's do ability duration. I do like the new ability duration and ability area. I think that's cool. Uh, we'll take, let's see, these are... Huh, so they added a bunch of negative effects to some of these. So like this one, I remember Glass of Milk, I think gave you armor and then something else, but now it gives you a negative healing bonus. Uh, but we're going to take Solar Panel. Okay, we'll do Weapon Damage. Okay, we'll upgrade the Pump Action Shotgun. Oh, wait, I forgot to look. <laughs> I forgot to pay attention if the abilities themselves are five or three. Okay, we'll do ability cooldown. Do ability damage. Can I see how much damage I've done so far? I don't think I can. I still think the only one doing elemental damage right now is my um, is my engineer. See, like, so let's try like bomb. Oh yeah, these are all three now. That's okay. That 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 changes it then, because then you don't need as many um, you don't need as many level ups to to get them to max level. You only have to do it three times. So that that makes sense. Okay, let's do the cooldown reduction again. Oh, so these are common. Have I been paying attention to what these are? Common. So there's... Okay. So at the bottom of that, it showed that it was a common level up. So these are all common. Is, do these ever get better, I wonder? Like, still chance, I guess. So is it, I wonder, I feel like it's every so often. Okay, so these are all common. I still haven't, have we seen anything higher? We might have. These are all common again. Do I want to get him to the rocket launcher because I'm I'm hoping the rocket launcher is elemental damage. 
And I know we're doing, like, I see the... I see we're doing kind of orange damage, but I think that's just the crits. I don't know if that's, like, fire damage. Oh, Nuts and Bolts is different. So they changed that. Opening an item chest creates an explosion, pushing back enemies. Let's try that. that I don't know if that's going to be good, but let's just try it just to see what it's like. That's what we're here for, to try to see what all the new things are. If I need to grind elemental damage more, I'll just, you know, I'll just do that off. Off stream. That means we're going to have a bunch of videos out today, unfortunately. <laughs> I already did two. I already did two videos for uh, Death Must Die. I don't really think magnet range is still a thing. Um, I don't know if I would ever pick that because one, magnets drop pretty frequently still. So I don't know if there's really any other reason to take like... See, show me. Show me what type of damage this does. Does it do fire? Does this do fire chemical? I don't know. It looks like they fixed the rocket launcher though, right? It's, it seems like it fires much faster. And maybe more in a straight line. Do. It's weird. The only thing that seems to be getting a damage modifier to is chemical. I haven't seen any other item that gives us a different type of damage modifier, right? And there's nothing on the right hand side that indicates how much chemical or electric or whatever. Okay. So when HP drops under 20, vacuums all health packs from the map. Effect can activate. That's wow. That's pretty cool. Let's try that. We haven't come close to dying yet, but maybe we will. They're definitely making it so you might not need the medic as much anymore. Making it a lot easier to get life steal, life regen. Uh, you don't need to rely on the crates as much to get those things anymore. Uh, and now we can get a revive. And we can get heal. I wonder... I hope they do a rework of the medic then. Okay, let's do... Let's actually re-roll these. So these are all still common, too. Let's do... Uh, let's do, I guess, ability crit damage. OK. 
Okay, so defeating a boss grants you... So this one was here. Did it work the exact same way, though? I think it did. Defeating a boss gets you three seconds of cooldown reduction and attack speed. This is straight up attack speed and movement speed. So these, I think, are still the same. Let's do the attack speed and movement speed. See, because see how many magnets there are still? I don't... I just don't know if there's a reason to ever upgrade the magnet range. Unless you're just looking for level ups instantly, you know? If the magnets were way more rare, then maybe you would want to increase magnet range. But other than that, I don't think I would really ever pick it up. Let's keep going with ability area. wonder how big, like, ability area is interesting to me because I'm assuming it works on our energy shield, and I would love to see how big we could get that energy shield going, you know? That, I think, would be the coolest thing to find out. Um, things like his tur- uh, Yeah, man, cool. Uh, I'm trying to think who would benefit. I'm assuming the engineer probably benefits the most from it because I believe most of his attacks are ability area. Because what's it going to do for, you know, um... Let's see. Let's re-roll these. See, okay, so here's a fire damage modifier. Um... But I don't know what we do... I, see, this is what I don't know. I don't know what's doing fire damage. I don't know if we have anything that does fire damage. I don't know if our bombs are doing chemical. I don't know if they're doing fire. They they really need to specify that somewhere. Maybe they do and I'm just not seeing it, but they really need to specify. Make it easier to see what what's doing what type of damage. I don't want to just see it on the damage numbers either. I want to see it on the abilities. Okay, let's do attack speed. Max pain. I don't remember. Unfortunately, I don't remember uh, the dude's name, but the voice actor for. Uh, Max Payne just passed away, which is a bummer. Uh, I remember playing the original Max Payne games. Those were... <laughs> they were so good. The bullet time in that... It's like... felt revolutionary. So, RIP to... To the Max Payne voice actor. I'm sorry I don't remember your name, but... Your work was amazing. I'll never forget the voice of Max Payne. And I'll never forget those games, either. Those games were... Those games are kind of... Kind of iconic, you know? I think everybody's gonna... Anybody who's a gamer is gonna know the Max Payne games. Okay, so they still have Vampire Survivor 2, huh? So here's... Okay, so here's Electric Damage Modifier, 30%. See, now what's chemical? Oh, man! Like, I'm going to take this just because I have... Because I'm mostly going in on an en engineer, and I know he does electric damage, but I just don't... I wish I knew what the other abilities were. So let's get... Yeah, let's get our electrical damage going up. That sounds pretty awesome.
if for okay i'm just gonna give you guys a fair warning right here if for whatever reason if we do the two million damage and we unlock the new character that's gonna be a totally separate video okay um i will do it the same day though so if you if it's not up already it will be up soon i don't know how much i really have no idea how much elemental damage we're doing here but i want to do a, a fully separate video on the new character just focusing on all their abilities and looking at what they can do so fair warning don't expect to see the new character in this video even if we do unlock him check out my check out my next video Okay, so we get this. Let's re-roll these. Money modifier still... To, man, you're going to give me... You're going to give me minus XP modifier for a money mod. That's not good. Nobody even takes the money modifier. Why would... <laughs> why would we want to take this? Uh, unless they give us some other reasons to. I don't, I don't think there's any reason to take that. Increases the duration of pickups. Okay, I think we'll reroll these two. While under 20% health, increase the armor by 20%. Let's reroll. I, I guess I should be banishing too. I, I haven't even been banishing anything. Yeah, here we go. I, I'll take the minus money modifier for ability, area, and duration. Awesome. Man, it is, it's weird not being able to level up our abilities as much though. Cause it feels, I looked at some of those abilities and I'm like, oh man, we're 15 minutes in and I don't have Fury Unleashed yet. Oh man, I still have the Tesla. Like, <laughs> it's weird looking at that knowing I haven't, I haven't even gotten level one of a lot of abilities yet. So that means you're gonna have to probably be a little bit more selective with what you take. I think that's what they wanted to. I think I, I think they mentioned that before. I don't really remember, but I do think they mentioned that. Um, let's do ability area. It's hard to tell when you see these minor, minor incremental upgrades on our ability area. It's hard to tell how much it actually does. But I guess if you're watching this video, you'll be able to go back to the beginning and you can check to see how much, um, how big, how much bigger our, uh, our energy shield is. Man, see this, look at all the health packs. So we got that one if we're below 20% health, we'll pick up all the health packs. That's so good. That's going to pretty much bring us to full health, you would think. Okay, so here's another chemical modifier, but let's do the weapon. I feel like my energy shield is pretty big right now, though. It's almost touching the bottom of the screen. It looks like, I guess I haven't, so they have weapon cooldown reduction. I'm going to assume that means the reload speed now, so I think they might have changed how that is worded and works also.
Man, this is this is interesting. It's interesting that they decided to nerf T pose even more. T pose is one of those that just got nerfed a ton. I guess if I well, I have a 7.5, just kind of like innate dodge chance with with our normal uh, meta progression. All right, let's do, let's get Fury Unleashed in here. Let's do cooldown reduction again. See, so just see how many magnets there are. So as we mentioned before, you just don't, unless they ever change that, I don't think there's any reason to take the, the pickup range. All right, let's do, we don't have decoy yet either, huh? You are now able to collect health pickups when at max health. Each health pickup collected gives your ooh, cool. Let's well, let's try that because I know there's a lot of. I think we have a lot of health pickups on <laughs> on the map here. That's pretty cool. So it basically doubles our damage. That's pretty huge, right? It was a hundred percent, right? I think it was a hundred percent. So if I pick up more, are we just going to get, like, insane damage buff? I'm trying to look. Uh, weapon damage, 234%. I don't know if it's going to show there or not. Oh, yeah, it did. Okay. I don't know if they stacked, though. Or maybe it ran out. Okay, so let's... Hold on, let's see. Okay, so we're at 134% right now. I'm gonna pick up I'm gonna pick up these two that are literally sitting right here and see if they stack. No, they don't sting, they don't stack, okay. So it's only gonna give you hundred percent. So don't pick up multiple, just pick up one at a time. So now you're stuck with the decision too, like, okay, do I do I pick up the health packs for the extra damage or do I leave them and then wait until I'm about to die so you can have that other that other perk we got where it'll suck in all the health packs and heal you. I guess if you're near bosses, you know, pick up the pick up the hearts though. Yeah, 234% damage. We definitely don't have uh, infinite energy shield yet either. 
wonder if that's harder to get. Let's see how long it's down for. We've been increasing the duration though, so it's up for quite a while. But let's see how many seconds it's down for. One, two, three. Oh, not bad. Only like two and a half, three seconds. So a little bit more cooldown reduction and we should be there. 25 health. Again, I wonder if that's one of those things they balanced. Because it used to be... You used to be getting, uh, I think it was 150 and like 250. I haven't seen those bigger ones here. Oh, I think there was an electric modifier there I should have taken. Man, we gotta be doing close to 2 million damage, right? <laughs> Hopefully, just after this game, we'll see that we unlock the pyro. See, I haven't even I haven't even upgraded my bow. <laughs> It's really hard to upgrade all that stuff now. And, I, and again, I think that's what they wanted. I think they wanted you to have to focus more on what you want to do instead of being able to get everything. And even though they only lowered it to three levels, it still seems harder to get at least one of every ability, you know? Because there's still a lot of things I don't have. I don't have arrow penetration. I only have one level of decoy. I don't have saw blades yet. I I only have one level of um like minefields. So you definitely need to be a little bit pickier about what you want to go for. If you want to do a weapon build or ability build, it doesn't seem like you can really go too heavily in both. Because, you know, like, look at my tank, for example. Um, we upgraded him to the rocket launcher, but I don't think I have hardly any of his other abilities upgraded. And granted, we did take three... We did take three uh, heroes right away, which is kind of up to your discretion if you want to take three right away or just focus on leveling up one at a time. That's definitely going to change how you play and how you level up characters. Okay, so here's Frozen Heart. Um, this was the other one. So yeah, they definitely reduce the amount of health that you get. Um, I don't have any frost damage yet, but I don't think I want to take like weapon damage or this one. So I think we'll banish. We'll Man, I, I don't know if I want to ban this. So, I guess we will. Who cares? Yeah, so they definitely lowered the amount of health you get. So they must have balanced it around that, too. These are all assumptions. I'm, 
I'm assuming they didn't just nerf the amount of health you got, you know? I'm assuming with the way the new armor works and things like that, that it makes sense, you know? Because now you're not going to be able to get... It doesn't look like you're going to be able to get 2,200 health or whatever the max health we got before was. Ooh! How did that not hit me? Part of me kind of wants to die just so I can see if we unlock the... Just to see how much damage we've done. Um, okay, let's do attack. No, let's do ability damage. Wait, remind me. Well, I know you guys can't remind me, but I need to... <laughs> I need to remember to check the... The common upgrades, because I know some of them have been common is they're uncommon and rare let's try laser I don't know if I like laser still Okay, so ability, critical damage, every time- Oh! They still have the Ring of Power. Uh, a little- I mean, it's probably still worth it, but that's one of the best items in the game. I forgot about that. Glad to still see it in here. Because that's the- that's the RNG gods. If they're in your favor, you're going to see the SOS ring early in your game. And then you're going to get- 20, 20 to 30 percent extra weapon and ability damage. That's going to be so good. So I'm curious how fast we'll regenerate our health. Um, we have barely any life steal. Well, we. I don't. Did, did I pick up a heart? I don't know if I picked up a heart or if that was all our life steal. Or my life. What's my life regen? 23. That's pretty high. I guess with the medic, you can get that up to 40 ish, though, I think. All right, we're going to take this. Oh, when standing still, 20... Okay, they need to change that a little bit. Weapon damage, 20% when standing still. Cool. But we're going to take this one again. Oh, uh, well, we got a new achievement. Deal at least 1,500 damage with one attack. Oh, we got a lot of bosses on the screen now. I'm happy to be back in this game. I'm glad to see that they put out what appears to be a huge, huge update. <laughs> like, just totally changing how this game works and plays and a brand new character. I'm so glad to be back. Because I think we're going to be playing this game for a while again now. Um, 
let's do... I don't really think I want any of these. I guess we'll take this one just because it's... It's not like a negative effect and I don't need the heal. Do the XP modifier. So we're thirty minutes in, and we haven't, I haven't really come close to dying yet. I know we've, we've got hit a couple times, not a lot. But I don't think a boss has hit us for, you know, a big 2,000 or 1,500 hit yet. We've only gotten really hit by zombies a couple times. I don't really want to test it out, but <laughs> at least not yet. I also don't want this to be... I also don't want this to be like an infinite run where we just... Oh, wait, is it? It does. Does it? Okay, I think it is telling me that it does electric damage. It does tell me, right? Oh, man. How did I not notice that? Maybe because it's only on... So... Okay. So, I'm, I don't know how I didn't notice this earlier. But right here, if you're looking at Electric Turk, you see the little electric symbol. So, a lot of you might be in the comments already being, Ah, oh, there is! And then at the bottom right, it tells me it tells me what types of damage I'm doing down here. Oh my gosh! How did I not know this? Okay, so modifiers flame based, such as flamethrower and fire torch. Modifiers, man, I'm so glad I saw this. <laughs> modifiers the damage you deal with electricity based attacks, such as the Tesla and Hollow Ghost, uh, freezing arrows and freezing flask. Chemicals such as antidote and vaccine. Okay, it still doesn't give me like a broad uh, sense of what everything does, but at least now I think I know that all the other things, all the other abilities aren't doing fire damage or any of that. So my only thing that is doing elemental damage right now is my is my engineer. How, how did I not notice that? I'm so blind. Wow, glass cannon, cool. We're not gonna take that right now, but okay, let's take it. <laughs> I'm just trying to do my elemental damage, so let's let's do it. <laughs> let's get all the damage we can get. Okay, but now I'm gonna have to if I we'll see how much we're off. Cause it's it's really hard to tell. I I don't have any sense or idea about how much how much elemental damage my engineer is doing right here. But unfortunately, I think that means none of my other characters are doing any sort of elemental damage. Okay, so that definitely means I need to get Ice Arrow. That's the only other thing I think we have that'll do any sort of elemental damage. And I'm not even, I'm not even close. I'm not even close to getting that. And we used all our rerolls. So we're definitely going to have to rely on the engineer to hope that he has done 2 million elemental damage. Yeah, see, so all of these do damage. Okay. I get you. I get you. I don't know how I didn't notice that before.
potato. Oh man, I don't. <laughs> Do I actually skip this? Um, I guess I could take the weapon damage. Weapon cooldown reduction and ability cooldown reduction. Ah, sure. Let's go all in on the laser then. Gain some of that cooldown reduction back. guys right there. Let's do... So now when it says like weapon damage, I'm going to assume that means like my, cause I'm trying to kind of read how, how this works with like the laser. Does the laser only do electric damage or does the weapon damage, I'm a, the weapon damage has to work with it too, right? Like weapon damage and electric damage work with it, work with, it works with both. Because it doesn't do white damage, it just does straight up blue damage the whole time. So I wonder if that still gets buffed by weapon damage or if you can only buff it from electrical damage. But it's still technically a weapon. Because you can see, like, our bow and our rocket launcher, those aren't doing any elemental damage. That's just doing straight up, straight up weapon damage. So, curious to, to know what that is, too. I'm gonna take bells and whistle every time. <laughs> Screw the money. We'll check after after we finish this game. We'll check to see if anything else has 
if they added anything to... I don't know if they did, but we can, we'll we check. Like, I know they're planning on adding some sort of prestige system and maybe... Maybe a rework or adding new items to... So you know that whole meta progression screen because we're already maxed out on it so the money doesn't matter to us really anymore now see now our when we move down it touches it touches the bottom of the screen now i feel like it's a lot bigger <laughs> I basically don't have anything else that's well I guess I I guess I have a bunch of other things that are when you get hit you have a 25% chance to create an explosion around the survivors pushing enemies back chemical modifier money modifier I guess we'll take that oh I haven't been paying attention to we took something that explodes like whenever we open a crate or something right I haven't really noticed that this ability area is so cool Cause like, look how big our turrets are too. I'm gonna try to get, I'm gonna try to get us to frost arrow or frozen arrow. I think every character, if they're going to do elemental damage, I think every character should at least have one or two abilities then that are considered elemental damage. Not just a few characters. You know, let the grenade... Like the... Um, the SWAT, let his grenade be... Fire or chemical, I guess probably fire. Same with the tank, let his, um... How does this work? Movement speed minus 50% for five seconds? It's the whole thing for five seconds? Do we only get health regeneration? So am I gonna, I think, I, I'm confused about exactly what this one does. Health regeneration, 5% per second. Health, 25%. So is that gonna, that's not gonna give me 25% more open, like max health, right? It's just gonna heal me. And then we're gonna lose 50% movement speed for five seconds. Let's try it. Okay, so I'm at 164923. So I'm still at 1649. I don't see my my movement speed doesn't seem to be affected though. I guess maybe it is. Huh. So it's just a it's going to give me health re so it gives me 5 health regeneration, it probably heals me for 25%, and then I lose just my max speed for 5 seconds, I think. I think? I think that's what that did? <laughs> it doesn't seem like my... Um... Okay, real quick. My, my airdrop, my missile, my bomb, my bombarding strike, whatever it's called, that doesn't seem like it's been affected by the 20, by the area of effect, right? Look how small it is still when it when it drops. 
Like, look how small these are. Those are so small. Compared to everything else that got, like, a huge... A huge area upgrade. That's... I don't know if that's intended either. So I feel like that's one of the uh, one of the abilities that should have got area effect. Cause look how big everything else is compared to it. Look how big our energy shield is. Even the, I wonder if the decoy is even bigger. The decoy kind of looks bigger too. Maybe we just need to level it up more. See, here that is again. Increases duration of... Let's try that one. That one actually seems pretty good. Because if you stack those, I assume it probably has a, a three stack. So you get them for an extra second and a half. That seems pretty good. Okay, hold on. I'm going to pause it and I'm going to edit this video out, okay? I will be right back. Okay, we are officially back. Thank you. Thank you for uh for the patience. I had to I had to take a phone call. We are going to have to finish up this video soon-ish, though. So I think we're we might <laughs> we might have to have to finish this run sooner than I kind of wanted to. But I think that's OK. We put out we put out what we needed to put out. And I hope man, I hope that we have enough damage to um, to unlock the new character. So I think we're just going to hold still here for a second. I mean, I apologize. I wish I didn't have to do this, but I do. I wonder if they can even kill us. Are we unkillable again? I feel like we're not unkillable, but maybe we are. We just dodged that. Oh, oh, wow. <gasps> he one shot at us. We revived and then we died right away. How the heck did that work? Damage dealt. Oh, wow. We did a lot of damage. There's no way we didn't unlock. There's no way we didn't unlock our character then. That's 10 million. 10 million damage. And that's all got to be like electric. Zombies killed. Let's see. So let's see what, what we did. Our laser did... Dang, the laser did such high DPS. I, did they buff that? I feel like that's a lot compared to what we normally did. The tank... Oh, wow. Never mind. Maybe that's not a lot of... Yeah, that's not a lot of damage. <laughs> now that I'm looking at it, that's not a lot of damage. I think they did buff these, though, because these are doing way more DPS than they were before. Uh, Multi-shot did 4,100 damage. 3,000 for the rocket launcher. And then our laser only actually did 2,300. So, yeah, I think they they buffed how much damage they do. But that's still not very good because everything else did way more. I, man, I wish we could have got this to like ice arrow or something or the explosive arrows because then it would have been doing a lot more damage. We only had like level two multi shot too. We didn't even get that to level three. OK, let's go back. We still got a lot to like go over here, so we'll go over this real quick. So we got all these unlocks back to main menu. OK, let's see achievements. Okay, so there's a hold on. Did we did we do the damage? We did. We unlocked the pyro. We'll do him. I'm going to handle some business here real quick and then we'll do we'll start running the pyro. Maybe maybe I run some pyro videos first so we make sure we kind of get all the abilities. I don't know. We'll see. He looks pretty cool, though. So he's going to increase the uh, elemental damage by 5%. He's melee and range specialist in an elemental damage. Cool. I'm excited to try him out. Okay, let's go back real quick. Just <laughs> I wanted to see because I saw this one like unlock the oh, that's unlock the third rank for pyro. Okay, so unlock survive the night with pyro. So we get 
Every charge of lockdown, reroll, and banish now has a chance to not be consumed. So that's a new item. Opening an item chest grants you luck and dodge. That was already in there, wasn't it? That's under an unlock now. Um, Let's see. We get new abilities. So the flamethrower and the infernax. Makeshift bomb and firewalk. Let's see. Yeah, some of these are locked behind things again. The, some of these are items we've already had, but now they're locked behind. They're locked behind different achievements again. Dodge chance invincibility after hit one second. Ooh. Um, that doesn't have an item. Chemical damage modifier twenty percent. Ice modifier. Fire. Elemental damage thirty percent, and then nothing for that. Just a potato again. Why'd you pick that? <laughs> I like that. Okay, uh, and then let's go to upgrades. Nope, upgrades are still the same. Uh, we're still at max level at team level 90. Okay, well, that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Uh, yeah, we'll do... I'll do another video here shortly for for the Pyromancer, or the Pyro. Is it just Pyro? Is he just called Pyro? He's just called Pyro. We'll do another video. Um... I don't know. I, I kind of want to make sure we have all the abilities unlocked before we do a video for him. So I might grind him out a little bit and then we'll play a video as him. But that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you have a great rest of your day.